in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. In the last uh, episodes, we were talking about the story of Yusuf, alayhi salam. Now, the king wants to take Yusuf out of the prison. But Yusuf, peace be upon him, refused that. He said to the waterer, go back to the king and tell him that I was put in this prison for no guilt, for no sin. I want something to declare my innocence. He went back to the king. How can I do that? What, what is the case? So he was told, Yusuf himself told the, uh, the man to tell the king to ask the witnesses. Who are the witnesses? The women who cut their hands uh, at that incident, uh, if you remember. So he brought them, he asked them, they said, perfect is Allah. And they swore by God that Yusuf is 100% innocent. The wife of the Al-Aziz admitted she wept, she cried, she regretted, repented, and admitted that she is one who tried to seduce Yusuf. Why Yusuf is insisting to go outside the prison only if he proved to be innocent? The answer is that sooner or later, he will be given a responsibility high in this state. He wants the trust of people. If the people, he will be the model for a lot of people. So if the issue started by, by people think that he is a criminal and uh, he is a wrong doer, how can he convince them to work with him and how he will convince them that he is a prophet of God? No, uh, his idea was excellent. He was thinking very well and this is the way should people do if they are subjected to same circumstances. Anyway, now the king heard about Yusuf and he admired him and he was sure that this man should be near to me in my kingdom so that I will give him responsibilities and something to do to help me managing the future famine. But when Yusuf sat with the king, the king talked to him, he became bigger and bigger in the eyes of the king. That he confirmed that this man is trustworthy, honest, especially after he proved that he is innocent. So he told him that Yosef, uh, I want you to be with me, helping me in solving this problem of the famine, what to do? Let us plan something to manage 
the life of people. Yusuf agreed and he told him to appoint him as a minister of finance. Of course, those days, how to run a state is different from nowadays. The way things those days are run is different from nowadays. There are some differences. But the whole idea is that Yusuf was responsible about agriculture, um, finance, manpower, manpower, and the need for. The seven years of prosperity started from the day that Yusuf was outside the prison. So he, he used all his talent and all what he learned in the land of Egypt and from what his father told him. He used all of this to build a plan, a plan to help people and to get rid of this, to get rid of the atrocities of the famine. So he started to build uh, huge buildings underground. He gave instructions to the farmers what to harvest, uh, what to do. He uh, created a lot of canals, channels for water, rivers, artificial rivers, and dig the ground for wells. He could plant uh, a very big piece of land, pieces of land. He uh, managed to uh, encourage all the farmers to uh, be serious and to work very hard during these seven years because uh, they knew that famine is in the way. He used these buildings for stores, as stores for the grain, corn mainly, and food for the animals because a lot of camels will come, caravans from everywhere to purchase uh, these the wheat and the corn. A lot of people will come from everywhere in the world. A lot of people will come searching for butter, for cheese, fruits, dates, name it. And this what really happened. After the seven years of prosperity, after the seven years of good agriculture comes the famine. One year passed, another year, God knows how many years passed in the famine, no rains, and the river Nile is not flowing. No agriculture. It's only something uh, not too much. The famine was all over the Middle East, even Palestine. So Yaqub and his sons suffered this famine. No rains, no crops, no plants, no sheep rearing. So they heard that 
there is food in Egypt. There is a big stores there. And it is for trade. If anybody wants to go, the way is paved. So the ten sons of Yaqub took their money. Each one of them, of the ten sons, is married and he have his own family and children. So every one of them wants to take some food for his own family and for their father and mother. So they prepared their camels and they went in a caravan to Egypt. There, once they reach Egypt, uh, usually Yusuf السلام, is the one who will receive the people. He saw them. Uh, he knew them. He recognized them. But they couldn't recognize him. Because the last time they saw him when they put him in the well, he was only five years old. And now he's 30 plus. So he changed a lot. But for them, changing from, say, 20 years to uh, 50 years or something like that uh, is not big change. It's not as big as his change in features. The language and the dress and the circumstances uh, acts to prevent them from uh, knowing his true identity. They couldn't recognize him. But he recognized them. Even when they were talking to each other, he understand the language. But they don't understand his new language now in Egypt. He was talking to them in Egypt language. Different one. Uh, he prepared the hotels for those people who will come for trade from all over the world. He put them in hotels. He provided them with the uh, food, water, whatever they want. And for their animals also, a place for the animals and food for the animals. And then he have workers who will... Uh, take the money from the traders or customers and then they will pack their bags with the corn, wheat and whatever they purchase. Yosef uh, stayed with those ten brothers. He was generous with them. He provided them with the food and water and uh, place to lodge and then he asked them while they are talking they said that they have a father and they came from Palestine from Hebron and they have a young a brother he understood from their talking about the young brother that they are not pleasant with him they don't like him so he was of thought of an idea to take his uh, brother Benjamin from them. In the next episode, inshallah, we will talk about what is the plan of Yusuf, what did he plan, and what was the result of this plan to take his uh, brother Benjamin uh, with him to Egypt. Until then, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi. وبركاته